Hey, it's Josh Stanford here, America's Attorney, and by the end of this video, you are going to see me humiliated by my lack of lawyer movie quote knowledge. What do you think's in this cookie jar? It's not cookies, I wish it were. It's lawyer quotes from movies, and I have not seen them, and I don't know what's in here, and I'm gonna try to guess them live on camera. Now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demure, we now have more than 400 plaintiffs. And let's be honest, we all know there's more out there. Now, they may not be the most sophisticated people, but they know how to divide. And $20 million isn't when it's split between them. And second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at age 20 like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have some spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Buddha, or what you'd expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then take out your calculator and multiply. You don't need a calculator to multiply a number by a hundred. You just add two zeros. Multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. First of all, Sounds like it's at a mediation or a settlement conference. Sounds like a class action. I want you to think real hard. I'm going with Aaron Brockovich. I'm doing it, I'm going, I'm going, I'm there, I'm going. Ah! <laughs> All right, one down. And wouldn't somebody who had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware of this rule, and if in fact, you weren't washing your hair as I suspect you weren't because your curls are still intact. Wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if in fact you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham, wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which means you would have had to found Brick Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make that story plausible. Isn't that right? I'm embarrassed. Because I think this is Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird, but I don't know the character names, and I think it's Brooke Wyndham. Legally Blonde. Oh no, it's Legally Blonde! I love that movie. I've watched that movie like four times. I love it. Isn't that right? We live in a world that has walls and those walls have to be guarded by these big guns. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. <laughs> it's a few good men. That's easy. All right. Wow, I really, I really hurt my wrist there. Do you want to talk about the brief? Everyone I have told about the brief is dead. I take my chances. First of all, the word brief is in the name of this movie. This is gonna be the second Julia Roberts movie. This is the Pelican Brief. I didn't, I knew that. And the truth shall set you free. My client lied about her age. She was only 17 when she got married, which makes her a minor. And in the great state of California, no minor can enter into any legal contract without parental consent. That's actually not a correct statement of the law, but it might be a correct quote from the script. Man, this one is gonna be short because I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna phone a friend and see if I can get a hint and my question to my friend is, please name one actor from this movie. Jennifer Tilly. My friend has told me the, that there's an actor named Jennifer Tilly in this movie. I have never heard of her, and I am taking an L on this one. Don't know this movie. Liar Liar, Jim Carrey. I've never seen Liar Liar! Le who? The her. I've never seen it. No wonder, no wonder I didn't get it right. Miss Kelly 
Do you know the meaning of perjury? Witness. Yes, I do. You also know that's a crime. Yes. For example, if you knew this diary was a fake, I'd hate to see you rot away in prison, especially since you just won your freedom. Look, all I know was what I was told. <laughs> These are impossible. It's not from Star Wars. I don't even know if there are any lawyers in Star Wars. What year was this movie made? It was made in the early 2000s. That was made in the early 2000s, and there's the problem. That's when I started having kids, and I didn't go to the movie theater. I don't know. I'm taking an L on this one. What's the answer? Chicago. Chicago, Richard Gere, and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Didn't see it. This game is rigged, and now we've made it to the last one. If I get this right, I'm guaranteed a winning season. <laughs> Person number one, allow this appointment lightly. The council does not. Disturbing is this move by the chancellor. Holy cow. If I miss this one, my children will murder me. Person number two, I understand. Person number three, you are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Because I'm pretty sure I know what this is, I'm gonna do this in even worse acting than I've done so far. What? How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. How can, how can you be on the council and not be a master? <laughs> that was actually better than his delivery. Take a seat. Person two, bad actor. Forgive me? This is Revenge of the Sith. Ding, ding, ding is right. I got a winning record and I barely watch any movies, but some of these are classics and some of them, actually they're all pretty good movies, I guess. Um, it makes me want to go back and watch Legally Blonde, which I haven't seen in like 15 years. That movie rocks, it is so funny. If you liked any of these movies, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and I'll be back with more content. Josh, where in To Kill a Mockingbird are perms mentioned? <laughs>